Welcome to IBM Mainframer. A complete reference for the mainframe programmer. In Chapter 1, we will going to see about library section, file and define statements in EasyTrieve. Throughout this video, we will be explaining the EasyTrieve concepts with a sample program. This helps you to understand the concepts easily. Let us see the first sample EasyTrieve program. This sample program has only 10 lines of code, but it creates a useful report. The program also shows how some of the most important easy Treve keywords are used. In other programming languages, a more complex program would be needed to produce the same report. The sample program produces this report, which is an edited display of data from an employee file named as personal. Library section statements. This section shows the relationship between the sample program and the report, one statement at a time. We highlighted the library section in the sample program. Let us see the file statement and define statement in library section. The file statement, the first line of our program is. The file statement contains the keyword, file. A file statement must be included for every file, that your program uses for input or output. The file statement tells the program where to get the data, that you want processed and can also provide information about how the data is stored. To do this, the statement must include a file name. In our example, the file name is personal. The remainder of line 1 is optional. That is FB 1501800 provides the program with information about how the personal file is stored, which makes accessing the file more economical. The personal file contains fixed length records of 150 characters that are stored in 1800 character blocks. This is indicated as one parameter FB 1501800, where FB stands for fixed blocked. 150 indicates the record length, and 1800 indicates the block size. Multiple subparameters must be enclosed in parentheses. Let us see the defined statement in library section. The defined statement Sample program contains four defined statements that describe fields in a personal file record. The word defined does not need to appear in the statements because it is implied. This definitions can also be written with the defined keyword like this. If you need to define a working storage field outside of the library section, you can use defined statements within your program logic. When a field is defined there, the defined keyword is required. This defined statements describe the four fields in a personal file record that sample program uses. Defined statements do not have to describe all the fields in the record or the spaces between fields. You describe only the fields that the program uses. Let us see each field definition in detail. When describing a field, you must identify its name, starting position in the record, length, type, and the number of digits to the right of the decimal point. The components must be coded in the order that is shown here. And the components must be separated by spaces. In our code example, the components are aligned vertically for readability, although alignment is not required. Let us see each component in the defined statement. Field name Identifies the field as a unique storage location, and is what you use later to refer to your data. Starting position specifies where the first character of the field begins in the record. Let me explain you with example. Beginning at the first character of data in a record of the personal file, count 9 characters to the right, to find the first character of the EMP hash field. Similarly, the first character of the EMP name field is 17 characters to the right of position 1. Field length specifies the number of bytes, or characters, of storage that the field occupies in the record. Basically the length of the field. See our sample program, you can see that, EMP hash with a field length of 5 occupies 5 bytes, or character positions in the personal record. And the EMP name field length is, 8. Data type. Describes the kind of data that is stored in a field. In the example, the fields are defined as three different data types as follows. 
A for alphanumeric. And for numeric. And P for packed decimal. Decimal positions. In our example, gross is the only field that contains numbers to the right of a decimal point. When this field is printed on your report, it shows up with two numbers to the right of a decimal point, for example, 999.99. Recap In this video, you learned about the file and define statements in the library section. These two statements define the library of data that is used as input to processing activities. File describes the data file that the program is accessing, or creating. Define describes the fields in the file that the program uses. Once you have defined your data, you can continue with processing activities. The next lesson is, activity section, job and if statements. Thanks for watching. For more detail, please visit our website www.ibmainframer.com. Happy learning! Please don't forget to click subscribe button to get updates.